slow intake part. We'll see how that intake holds up. And JB watered it. I just hope it bonds together like it's supposed to be. Or I'm screwed because I don't have the resources around here to make an intake. I could not have done this any better. So I took a piece of cardstock, laid it on the bottom of my uh, first gen rack I bought, got the bolt pattern, centered the motor up, marked it the best I could of where I wanted it to sit, laid it down, screwed the holes, and the freaking drill gun in two different spots, ripped out my hands real quick. That had me concerned, but come to find out, I nailed it on the freaking head. I've got a bolt there that's really smashed up against a piece of metal, whatever the hell that's for. Excuse my language. I need to edit that out. Um, so it's definitely not going to spin around, come loose. And then in this channel here, we've got another bolt that's freaking smashed up against that uh, metal right here. That's not going to spin either. I couldn't have done that any better. It's perfectly on either side of those uh, chunks of metal. Or frame rail or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that motor's not going to move. I ended up flooding the motor out. Carburetor was shooting out way too much fuel. The thing actually lit on fire because of a spark coming from the ground cable. I'm going to swap on the oil cooler. Uh, it's coming together quite well. We have to figure out the bumper on the front soon too. And the dash. The freaking steering wheel will not come off and it's pissing me off. Also, this tractor, I'm going to throw a picture up right here of my Montgomery Wards with the 24s on the front and the 27s on the back. This tractor here is squatting like you know what with these 24s on the front and those supposedly 28s, which are more like 26 and a half. I know my 27s, when they're aired up to 5 PSI, they're taller than a 27. So my wards wasn't squatting. This tractor is seriously squatting, and I'm not liking it. I'm really pissed. I wish those tires were a little bit bigger. But these tires might have to go, and I might have to run the 22s. And if I'm going to put 22s on the freaking tractor, I might as well put my rib tires on there. But my God, I'm just going to a freaking flatland trail ride. Intake turned out pretty good. I do think uh, the JV Well did its job. I'm happy. I still might put a self tapper in there just to make sure, but I don't know. I'm pretty pleased with what I got. All right, so what we have here is a 27 by 12 by 12 vampire. And over here we have the 28 by 10 by 12 EDL vampires. One's one and one and a half inch lugs and the other is like two inch. There's a bit of a height difference. I like a lot. Both meaty looking tires. We're going to do a weigh-in. So they're both on the same, pretty much the same rim, same offset, same width, same height. One might have a couple ounces more of spray paint on it. I mean, it's the same freaking thing. So let's do a weigh-in, figure out what they really are. All right. So that is... 51 pounds. That is the 27. And the next one's much heavier, even though it's way smaller, just because of the, uh, the lugs. This one is... 53.4. What? 53.4. It feels so much heavier. Huh. That's interesting. 